All right, what's up guys? So today I'm gonna to go over how to uh, set up a MLS search for auto email direct to your buyer through Bright MLS. Um, this is what we do. Uh, I, I use two different systems, either the website that the company provides for you or Bright MLS. There's times when the website, if you're trying to send it from your IDX fed website, it doesn't have as many search options. So that's when you definitely have to use Bright MLS. Um, or, uh, you know, in general, if you don't have any websites, you use Bright MLS. So let's jump in. I'm going to share my screen and show you some tricks that I have uh, and some tips. So let's All right, so basically you come into Bright MLS, you go to search, then residential search, uh, residential sale, and the parameters are here, okay? A couple quick tips. Subdivision, I would never use unless they were only looking in, uh, you know, one specific subdivision, but just so you know, any fields that are not mandatory for agents or if agents don't know a subdivision, you, some listings can be skipped. Uh, I never search by postal city because in our market and specifically in Jersey, there can be uh, two different townships in one zip code, which could send kids into two different school districts, which um, essentially can make you look bad if somebody says they want to live in a certain town for their schools. Um, so I always recommend MLS area. Um, and there's a few different ways to do it. You can just hit the search button and that's going to go to the counties that you have selected above. Okay. Which are here. So in this case, I know that these guys are only looking in Gloucester County and now this should only populate Gloucester County. And I happen to have a conversation with them about what towns they wanted. So I know what areas. So let me do this, this. That happens to be the areas this particular client wanted to search. And again, MLS area, this means the township that the kids are going to go to school in. That's who they're going to be paying taxes to. Um, let me give an example. Washington Township technically has three different zip codes in it. Sewell, Washington, uh, Sewell, Blackwood, and Turnersville. So if you were just to put in that zip code, unfortunately, it would only find homes in that section of town. Um, so for the buyers, I'm going to do... Coming soon, active, um, and even active under contract in case they go to a website that doesn't have the populated data. Four plus bedrooms. Uh, I know that these guys want two full bathrooms or more. So that's the shortcut if you just do four plus. Uh, if you wanted bedrooms, three to four bedrooms or three plus, you know, that's up to you. Um, I always check off detached if it's if they want detached or not detached. You could check off not detached if they wanted a row home or condo. Um, in this price range, depending on the amount of homes they had to sift through, I could shorten this by saying, well, they really don't want to be in a rancher. So I would say not one story homes. OK, um, in that case, that only took off uh, one home or a few homes anyway. So I'm going to leave them in there. Let's see basement they would prefer a basement so let me see how many this drops it down to so that's seven properties and then condition um i'll do good very good excellent okay now that took too many listings away and that's not a uh, a great field that realtors this, these are too many choices for realtors to check off so unfortunately, I'm going to let all those go out. Um, every time you see this number drop drastically, it could be because not many people fill out certain um, parameters when they do the search. Now, central air obviously is important. Again, realtors can mess up. So that took off a bunch of listings. But I'm going to doubt that they don't have central air, that that many homes don't have central air. 
Um, again, somebody could make a mistake, but that's about it. So, so these are homes with basements. And then again, you can check off garage, but that's that's not that many homes for them to look through. And always sending more homes as long as you're not send, you know, sending too many houses every day um, is okay. You'd rather them, you know, my comment to the buyers is always, I'd rather you see it and say no to it than call me and say, why did we miss this listing? Okay. So these are the listings, right? Uh, first time out, I'm going to send every one of these listings. But if you have a buyer looking for a specific area or anything like that, you would uh, go through these, check all of them, and then maybe deselect the ones that you didn't want to send. And then you would email. And this is how I email my first um, property list to a consumer. So I'm going to create a new contact here. switch this just here for a second. I don't want to give out anybody's personal info. All right, so this now has a consumer in there. So that's just a quick message. So they got their um, initial email, right? However, I want to use the MLS system to send them automatic updates so you come down here to the bottom where is it sorry computer's running slow because we're recording so give it a sec there we go so this is where you're going to hit save and i want a new automatic email to this person, which has two emails, subject, this is a general template, which is pretty good. Um, and this is where you're going to come in here and I like to set it to in this hot market that we're in right now, send them automatically as soon as they come up. Um, and that's all that I do. So uh, I'm going to save that search. All right. So that's all complete. Um, so that's the best way that I set up my initial search to send to buyers and an auto search for them to get more listings as time goes on. And um, definitely remind them that they're not going to find coming soon on multiple websites. So that's one of the best benefits of using you guys. And that's it. Any questions, reach out. Hope this helped.